Marxist automobiles. This is from Nature Magazine. You remember them, the same Nature Magazine that endorsed Joe Biden for president because he followed the science. U.S. aims for electric car revolution. Will it work? The Environmental Protection Agency has released draft regulations that set the stage for a huge transition to electric vehicles. The article is by Jeff Tollefson, news explainer. That's a Marxist term if I've ever heard one. You need a news explainer to sculpt and shape public opinion. Why? The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency today proposed a landmark set of pollution regulations that could spark an electric vehicle revolution and drive down greenhouse gas emissions. Under the rules, electric vehicles could account for an estimated 67% of new U.S. passenger car sales by 2032, a major feat for a country where transportation is the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions. Now why is this? It's because most countries in the world are too poor to support private car and truck ownership. So the EPA wants to punish Americans for working hard and driving the vehicles of our choice. Traditionally, the free marketplace determines what sort of vehicles Americans drive. American auto manufacturers first began offering electric cars in the early 1980s. General Motors has high hopes for its electric car. The automaker expects to have it ready for the public five years from now. And by the year 1990, GM says 10 out of 100 drivers could be behind the wheel of this kind of vehicle. Its top speed, 50 miles, and it needs a recharge every 100 miles. Yet for some reason, the American consumer did not stop buying gasoline and diesel vehicles in the 1980s. Why? The free market decided that tiny electric cars were not something the consumers wanted we continued purchasing cars of our choice. This is based on the free enterprise system of capitalism. Adam Smith in The Wealth of Nations talked about the invisible guiding hand of an economy, but the Biden administration has a different concept of how to guide the economy. Their system bears more resemblance to the five-year plans of the old Soviet Union, where they would control all production, control what consumers wanted, and control what consumers received. Under Leninism, Marxism, Maoism, you will drive the vehicle that the state selects for you, and anyone who dares oppose the state will be punished. You have to wonder about the people that Joe Biden selected for his administration. Who are the founding fathers they revere? Is it Jefferson, Washington, Lincoln, or is it Mao, Stalin, and Lenin? are the founding fathers of the Biden administration's staff. Elections matter. If you voted for Joe Biden because he seemed like a kindly, nice guy, like your old grandpa, voting for Joe Biden means you have taken away your right to select the auto vehicle that you drive. Voting for Joe Biden means that some narrow-minded bureaucrat in a centralized government bureaucracy will make your purchasing decisions for you because as Nature Magazine believes, the Democratic Party knows best and all must obey the Democratic Party in their version of the five-year plan. Thanks a lot, Comrade Biden. Thanks a lot.